Hello, uh, my name is Lindsay, and today I am going to show you how you could get the Nightmare Cavern Lantern. But before we get started, I want to say a thank you to TV City 56 Without the comment you left on my last video, I would not have found this chest, so thank you for letting me know the location of the chest. And before we get started, you're going to want to go into your animations, click on this drop-down arrow, Click on walk packs and put on a delicate princess. I do think this will help you a lot in getting to the chest. So let's go ahead and get started. And I almost forgot I need to turn down my graphics so it is easier for you guys to see. Okay, so now I'm going to enter Blackwood Caverns. And once we enter Blackwood Caverns, we are going to take a left. And now we are going to take this tunnel down and we're going to keep following this tunnel right here and soon you will see a pumpkin to your left and we are going to go left as well past the pumpkin so now we are going to follow this tunnel you'll see a, a candle now we're going to keep going you will see a purple crystal we're going to follow this curve past the purple crystal and up here you will see a big jack-o'-lantern. We're going to stop right here and I guess I'll do a jump cut. The ghost always gets me right there. Okay, so we're back at the giant jack-o'-lantern. So you're going to want to take this right turn right here and you're going to go towards the wall with the green strip. Now we're going to go left and we'll see this candle. And you'll see this hill. We are going to walk up this hill. And now we're going to go right towards the green light. And now we're going to go right again. And we're going to go down to this candle. We're going to drop down right here. Now we're going to turn around and walk towards this purple candle. And we're going to walk past the purple candle towards this wall. And now we're going to go right and we're going to follow this path towards this candle. We're going to go past the candle and there will be another hill we need to take. So now we're going to take this hill right here and we got this black and green candle and we're going to go forward. You'll see a hole in the floor. We don't want to fall down. So go over to the green on the wall and hug the wall and you can jump if you think that would help you and now we're going to go straight you'll see a purple candle and a hole we're going to drop down this hole and now we are going to look up and you'll see this candle we are going to jump and you'll see another candle we're going to jump to the second candle and you will get your Flight powers back right here. If you think that will help you get over to this ledge, you can use them. But what I like to do is run and jump. So I'm going to run and jump. And I made it. So now we are going to take the right path right here. And we're going to keep going until we see this purple candle. Because now we want to go left. And once you get here, you're going to go right. And now we're going to go this way and we're going to follow the path this way. You'll see a blue crystal. We're going to go towards a blue crystal, but be careful because there's a hole in the wall and I'll do another jump cut. I made it back to the blue crystal, but it has come to my attention. I call the hole in the floor a hole in the wall. It is in fact a hole in the floor and we don't want to fall down it. So we need to hug the wall and go around to the green crystal. Now we're going to go left and you'll see a pumpkin right there. And there is another hole in the floor, but I don't think this one leads anywhere, but I still like to avoid it like this. And now we are on the other side. So pumpkin, hole, and now we are on the other side of the hole. And now we're going to walk this way. And now we're going to walk down and once you get here there's another hole and we're going to walk down the hole and now you're going to walk 
this way towards this dark purple candle. And if you look up, there is a false ceiling that we are going to go up. And we made it to the chest. So now we are going to open the chest. And it is the Nightmare Cavern Lantern as well as 200 candy that candy is actually going to be very helpful so that is how you can get to the nightmare cavern lantern and once again thank you tv city 56 for letting me know the location and please make sure you like subscribe and turn that bell notification so you never miss when i post and i'll see you in the next video bye